Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. So now you have all this anti-black racism all over the Muslim world. Like you name up, you just name one of these countries, Egypt, uh, Algeria, you name it, anti-black sentiment everywhere. But the second one of the, one of these Arabs with a, a thobe and a whatever, this this white cap, whatever, they, this, this cap that they're wearing, and say, you know, brother, there's no racism in Islam. Y'all get out here, get all dreamy out of, oh, well, you know what, racism in Islam now, you hit, you know, wow. I, 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 you're getting all dreamy-eyed and stuff. Instant mentally, mental slavery mode. No racism, I'm not. I don't like me no. I don't like. I don't like no racism. I don't like no racism, man. I, I, I like me some Islam. I have no racism in Islam. You sure? You sure? You sure? You know, no reason. No, you sure? We gonna be brothers now. We gonna be brothers now. We gonna be. I, I can do the security. I can do security in the master. Yes, 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 sir. Yeah, I can do security. Be no racism in Islam. You're all so silly, man. Incredibly silly. They say that not because they believe it, okay? They say that as a means to control you. They know your triggers. They know what makes you happy, what makes you mad, okay? <laughs> like like Santa Claus and stuff. They know when you be good, you know when you be bad. They know your trigger points. So now when Daniel Hakikachu gets invited to this conference, which is all Salafis, by the way, He's the only one who's not Salafi in this con conference. Eight speakers. He's the only one who's not Salafi, by the way. Let's be, let's be very clear on that. He's he got, You got Bilal Phillips on the, on the flyer. Sheikh Bilal Phillips. Sheikh Abu Usama. Sheikh Usama uh, Kimini. Okay? And they were forever. When this conference happens, they'll be forever talking about, well, well Dan Daniel, he can't be racist because, you know, if he was racist, then why did Sheikh Abu Osama speak with him? And why did Sheikh Dawood, Sheikh, Sheikh uh, Bilal Phillips speak with him? Why did Sheikh Osama Kennedy speak with him? Don't y'all know there's a new Negro in town? <laughs> Don't y'all know that old time stuff is not working no more? It's not working. The, the, the mind control stuff, the, uh, whatchamacallit, public relations stuff that y'all be doing, since y'all got here, it's not working no more. And in, in a way, it's kind of like a blessing for black people. So now black people can, can clearly see what I've been saying on this channel from jump. Now, you ain't got no friends. These people ain't your friends. They weren't your friends from the beginning. They're very happy to use your struggle to build their communities. They're happy and proud and, and eager to do so. And they will build your communities, their communities, off of your backs, no problem. Do you find any of them coming to defend your, your struggles? Do you find any of them coming to, to, to have uh, fundraisers in your communities? Do you find any of them, you know, having these large events to build up something that you don't got? But when they need to build something for them, they, they will call three of the top black scholars and put them beside Daniel Hakikachu which sends a clear message to black people, black Muslims, and anybody else who want to participate in racism. Y'all are tripping. He can't be racist now. No, look, look here, he's got, he got the Daniel Hickey. You got the love in him. You no reason, no reason to know. You no reason now. No reason now. You can't pull that old time stuff on us. That's those days are long, long gone. And I'm in long gone. So now, because some of all you Negroes are so slow and have no code of conduct or critical thinking capabilities, y'all be getting played again. Okay? So look here. Let's unpack this flyer, shall we? Let, let me get the flyer up. We're going to unpack this flyer. You notice that on this side, you got uh, Kareem Abu Zaid. Sheikh Uthman and some other dudes. Then over here on this side, you got Sheikh Bilal Phillips, Sheikh Ukasha Kemeni, Sheikh Abu Sama Zahabi. And who's this on top of all three of them? Somebody put it in the chat. 
This flyer right here is a public relations masterpiece. Daniel's on top of all of them. This is a public relations masterpiece. Y'all hearing me? Well done. Well done, AIM. Very, very well done. Good with your AIM, AIM. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on that's on this side, right? What we have here, we have three of the top black scholars in the West. And above them, we have. Daniel Hikikichu. Now you think they designed this by accident? What do, you, what do you think the message is that they're sending here? Very obviously, they know very well about Dan, Daniel's anti-black rhetoric. So in order to combat that, this is how they designed the flyer. You get it? Daniel right there next to and above three black scholars. Y'all hearing me? So unless, of course, you believe in a universe where random events produce convenient coincidences, then in that case, I'm reading too much into it, right? Now, let's let's play a game, shall we? Shall we play a game? Shall we play a game? We have here, Danny Hakikachu, Sheikh Abu Usama, Sheikh Gosha Kemeni, Sheikh Bilal Phillips. That's who we have, right? Let me ask you something. Out of those four that Danny was conveniently beside, okay? Because we believe in, in, in the randomness of the universe here that just con conveniently puts things the way that we want them. Which one of these four is not a scholar? Put it in the chat, please. Because we're we playing the game here. Y'all hearing me? You got Daniel Gikachu, Abu Sama Zemi, Zebe Zahibi, Kasha Kemeni, and Bilal Phillips. Next question. Which one of these four is not Salafi? Put it in the chat, please. Come on, y'all. Come on. Answer, please. Put it in the chat. We need answers. We need answers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Next question. Between Daniel Hikikachu, Sheikh Ukasha Kemeni, between Sheikh Bilal Phillips, and between Sheikh Abu Usama, which one of these four is the only one that says his Tahrir is good because they're bringing in the Khilafah? And any group that's trying to bring in the Khilafah to me is good. Which one of them says that out of all, all four? One guess, y'all. One guess. Make sure you share this. Y'all hearing me? So wait a second. What's going on here? Daniel Gikachu saying his battery is good. Daniel Gikachu, not scholar, not Salafi. Daniel Gikachu, not a scholar, but he's gonna do what at the at the tales from the scripture. What what exactly is he going to do at the tales of the scripture conference for AIM? What's he gonna do? You ready to play the game now? You ready? Here we go. Three of these things belong together. Three of these things are kind of the same. But one of these things just doesn't belong here. And now it's time to play our game. It's time to play our game. One of these things just doesn't belong here. Tell me, did you guess which one? If you guessed this thing just doesn't belong here, oh, you're absolutely right. And now my song is done. Did you guys guess right? Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. 